Deborah um, has got that very point that you're you're making there. Hi, Deborah. Hi. Um, Hi. I'm I'm at a loss um, at what to do. Um, my son has been bullied um, since he went to play group. Um, so um, as the school has a policy that every time there's an incident, you go to them and tell the teacher. He's had every. It started with um, just the normal coat pulling, um, pulling of the hoods, which is just rough play. We thought that they were doing, and then it it went on to he was being chased with sticks, and we went to the teachers and we told the teachers. Then he was being pinned down and jumped on. Oh, we went oh. to the teachers and we told the teachers. Um, he was coming home with bruises on his back, um, and he we it transpired that. They, they had him, and there was a group of them, and they were hitting him with jumpers and actually whipping him with jumpers. And again, we went to the teachers, told the teachers... But they're just, it's they extraordinary just... that you have to go and tell the teachers that when this is happening in school time. Like, how are the teachers not seeing this? I mean, in break time... We, we they told the teachers dis... at school time, we told the teachers every parent's evening, and we wrote a letter to... We wrote a letter to the headmistress and she actually wrote back and said that she's gone through all the logs. My son had a, um, a level two because he actually pushed back one time and the teacher caught him and he had a level two punishment. Um, the other children didn't mm. because yeah. the other children ran off. OK, all right, let's uh, Well, I think see. one thing is, I mean, in a case like this where you've already involved, I would say go to the governors. And really, I don't know if you... I hope you've got a note of all this. You've obviously got it clear in your head. And photos of the injuries as yes, well. Yes, He's got yes, bruises on his yes, back. Take true. pictures of yes. the bruises on his Take back. Take photos. But even go back over the stuff you may not have noted so far. Really try and be specific about the dates and exactly what happened and which children you believe were involved. And go to the governors and say, I'm sorry, you know, they're saying they're dealing with us, but they're absolutely not. My child's coming home with bruises. And I'm really worried about it. And if the governors don't really take on board your concerns and really get the school being active about this, check. I mean, it varies from, from different schools according to whether they're free schools, academies or normal or local authority schools. If you have to, go to the next level beyond that. Also, there's... What is the next level beyond that? Well, I was saying it varies. That's the trouble I can't say because if you're a free school, you know, it goes in one direction. If you're yeah. an academy, it's a different direction. Normal local authority school, it's going to the local authority. Yeah. Maybe we could put the chain of that on our on, website. On our website. So people will know what to do. And certainly on our website, there are all the relevant bullying organisations, and I particularly want to mention one called Bullying UK. They've got a website um, and, a, and a helpline, a really good helpline. Talk to them about how far you've got and what you can do. And the other element I'd want to throw into all this is do other stuff with your son. I think children, sometimes it just feels as though their whole life is coloured by what's happening with these school friends. And I don't know what other interests he's got, but find something else that gets him in with a different bunch of kids, probably something structured like going to swimming club or something like that where he has some other avenue where he can express himself and build some self-confidence and make other friends who have nothing to do. You know, they've all got one another labelled now, that's the trouble, and he needs to help to break out of that and build his self-confidence. But I'll happily come and talk to you more off-air as well, because I know just how completely worrying this problem is. Um, thank you very much indeed uh, you. for your call. Um,